guys, it's Gabrielle and welcome to my channel and for another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you a simple DIY deep conditioner that I've been using and this is using four kitchen ingredients that you probably already have in your kitchen cabinets. The first one is honey, the second one is apple cider vinegar and if you're going to use apple cider vinegar, you're better off using the raw unfiltered version. Also try to use the one with the mother in it because those stringy strands you see at the bottom there is what the mother is and that's where a lot of the amino acids and the potency of the apple cider vinegar is so it's important that you use one that has the mother in it next we are going to need some olive oil now olive oil is one of those oils that's great for your hair because it has a lot of omega-3 fatty acids it has a lot of vitamin E as well which are oils that penetrate uh, the hair shaft and actually there's documented evidence that suggests that for um, our kinky hair that is highly porous or what we call high porosity hair the olive oil is able to penetrate the hair and uh, also able to help the hair rebalance its ability to hold moisture so in a lot of ways it might be better than coconut oil if you have high porosity hair so again if you're not getting anywhere with coconut oil you could try olive oil for a change and see if it works for you Next we are going to use yogurt and if you are new to my channel I absolutely love yogurt. I use it for everything especially as a mixing medium for my mats but I also use it on its own as a deep conditioner. Yogurt is great because it's full of protein, um, it's full of fat, it's full of vitamins all of which are great for the sustenance of our hair strands and also yogurt has lactic acid which is great for gently cleansing the scalp and clearing away dead skin cells which in a lot of ways can help your scalp to recover from a variety of conditions. So based on your length you are going to pick whatever amount you feel works for your hair and then to that we are going to add our liquid ingredients. I am going to start with olive oil. Again, olive oil is great, especially if you have high porosity hair, like I mentioned, so try it out. And I am going to add a tablespoon of that. I'm trying to keep my liquid ingredients to a minimum because I want a certain consistency with the deep conditioner so it clings to my hair and also is not all over the place when I start applying. Next, we are going to add a tablespoon of honey. Now, honey is a humectant. So it's hygroscopic, meaning that it attracts water from the atmosphere and into your hair. And the mechanism of this is the sugar molecules in honey. So it is a great one to add to your hair and you can even use it on its own. Honey is also an emollient, so it's going to help smooth and soften the hair. And this smooth thing of the outer layer, especially of the cuticles, is going to reflect. It means the cuticles are going to reflect more light and better, so your hair will appear more shiny and it will also be more pliable. Finally, I added a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. You don't see that because my camera cut off and the reason for that is I wanted to lower the pH slightly. Again, forgot to measure but I wanted to make sure that the pH is somewhere between 4.5 and 5.5 which is ideal for hair and when you keep acidity at this level, it means that you are you are using a product that is optimal for your scalp and for your hair, for your hair strands as well so it's more effective. Effective. Also, apple cider vinegar contains acetic acid, which is a proven antifungal and antibacterial element. So it's it's great for your scalp as well, especially if you have dandruff, which sometimes is caused by a bacteria. Apple cider vinegar will put a stop to it, so that could be something to try. Also, you could try an apple cider vinegar rinse um, if you have any of, any of these conditions, and that might be uh, more effective. But in general, I just wanted to lower the pH. So once you have everything in together just mix it up it's really easy to mix I in fact used a chopstick to show you how easy it is and you should end up with a very smooth consistency to it and then when it comes to applying uh, overnight I uh, used my oil on my hair and so this is the next morning and normally I always oil my hair overnight and then I do a mud or a deep conditioner the next morning and if you notice yes my hair is a lot shorter because I have finally cut all the damage from the heat and so we are beginning over and this is the consistency I like it's uh, semi thick so it's gonna cling on to my hair and it's not gonna go all over the place 
So as soon as it touches my hair, you can begin to see that texture definition, which I absolutely love seeing. And it's very, very easy to use. I just grab it and I just put it on my hair and as much as my hair will absorb and then move on to the next section after twisting that section. Also, sometimes I divide the sections into two just to make sure that I cover as much surface area as I can with my hair. And then I twist that section and I get that section out of the way and move on to the next section. It's really that simple. Just mix it up, grab it and slather it all on your hair as much as you can and you are good to go. For those of you who are vegan, you could substitute the yogurt with some coconut cream or some coconut milk. Also, you don't have to use olive oil. You could absolutely use any oil that you use for cooking. I tend to favor unfiltered olive oil for cooking, but also you can use anything that is in your kitchen from sunflower to um, coconut and even, um, what's the other one? Sunflower, coconut, and sesame seed oil as well. So any oil that you use to cook, the idea is to use what's already in your kitchen. And finally, try to rake through with your fingers uh, in order to get as much surface area as you can. And again, start to admire that texture definition because it's really, really, really pretty. So that is how I am deep conditioning my hair using a very simple recipe and you can do this weekly or you can alternate by weekly like I do with my mods and there's really no science to this and you can't really do too much of it. So thank you so much guys for watching and again if you're curious finally what I'm going to do is put a cup on a plastic bag and I'm going to leave it on for half an hour to 45 minutes. Keep in mind we are using yogurt which is milk with bacteria in it so you don't want to keep it on your hair for too long because it's going to start stinking up the place. But anywhere from 30 minutes to 2 hours should be fine. And then I rinse it off and I continue styling my hair as normal. No shampoo and no conditioner although you can do an apple cider vinegar rinse if you feel like it's smelly but I find that it doesn't smell so I just let my hair be so thank you so much guys for watching click on my face over here to subscribe and get notifications for new videos and I will see you guys on the next video take care until then bye guys